Well guys, welcome back to another day around the Freedom and Company garage. We're not only inside, but we are outside today too. It is another beautiful day in sunny Arizona. So we just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what we have been up to. We know it's been a hot minute, about a month since we've done an upload, um, but we've just been crazy busy with a bunch of stuff and with life in general. So when I show you guys what we've been up to and uh, give you guys a little insight into kind of our lives around here and what Freedom Company does outside of this crazy Grom project. All right guys, so our Grom hasn't had a lot done to it in the past month. So we're not super excited that we haven't worked on it, but we are still super excited on where this thing is going to be going. And we have a game plan now, we know what we're doing, um, but we've got a lot of exciting things going on that we've been trying to set up um, that will really take this bike and our garage and our capabilities to the next level. So right to our left, we got a CNC router table. So this is gonna be awesome for Aluminum parts, wood parts, um, mock-up parts, anything like that. Prototyping, one-offs. Um, this is going to be awesome for that. So you can see we've got a sheet of aluminum up here. Um, and the big thing that this is going to help us with, especially right now, is making our rear sprocket spacer for in the rear here. Um, so we need to bump the sprocket out approximately one inch, like 22 to 24 millimeters off of that sprocket uh, mating surface here. So this is going to allow us to draw up that sprocket spacer in a CAD software and then actually mill it out with the router and bolt it on and then we can change it as we need to um, on here. So huge step for us. This is gonna allow us to do a lot of different stuff um, in terms of nice aluminum brackets and spacers and parts, even possibilities like mounting tabs and a front triple clamp, just lots of little cool billet aluminum parts um, to really set us apart from that. So um, that's one little thing that we have been working on. Um, we are at the point where we have not run aluminum yet, but we are just about ready to do some. We're going to start running some um, test passes on some wood parts. That way we can check the tool paths, make sure everything is running great. Um, and then we'll move on to some aluminum. So huge thing there. We've got some of our corners organized with some nice new toolboxes. So you guys probably can uh, attest that in some of our previous videos. This corner has kind of been just a hodgepodge of tools and parts and everything like that. So we kind of get in this stuff organized here. We've got some more bins with all of our ground parts and stuff like that. Um, but one of the biggest things that we are super excited about is right over here. We got a new CNC plasma table. So this is a full five by 10, um, which actually equates, it's, it's a full six by 12 actual footprint of the table. Um, and this has been taking up a lot of our time and getting it dialed in and actually running a lot of cool parts. You can see down here, um, just some of our sample stuff that we've done, lots of different signs. We've done some cool little Grom bottle openers. So if you guys are interested in those, let us know. We can set up a little, uh, online store, um, get some parts like that done. So yeah, like I was saying, we can set up a little store if you guys want to maybe buy a little stuff like that, like little ground bottle openers or some keychains um, or signs, anything like that. So we're gonna be working on cutting stuff out like that. But this thing opens up so many capabilities for cutting out mounting tabs and just parts for that. Um, Right now, like for example, this is 14 gauge, so it's relatively thin, a little under eighth inch, but we can cut up to one inch thick steel on this table, which is really cool. We've already got some material stashed in the corner that we can do some practice on that would be perfect for some mounts, engine mounts. It would have been really nice to have when we were building our frame because we could have customized a lot of stuff. There's Coop. Um, so this has been a huge, huge step in the right direction for Freedom and & Company and the Freedom & Company Garage, so we've been super excited about that. We did a huge compressor upgrade. So before, we were just running a little 30-gallon compressor um, that would always kick on and off, make a ton of racket, and so now we're running a full 80-gallon um, two-stage compressor. We ran all new power for it from this corner over here all the way through the ceiling, all the way back over there, um, and then we also had to run another 220 line for our 
plasma cutter uh, power unit, which is over there. So this thing has been an awesome, awesome new addition to the garage. We've got all of our big bikes over here. I guess, and including another little bike. That's our other little Grom there, FC07, FC09. We got the Razor, um, still messing with that stuff, um, keeping busy, not as much, but we do ride the big bikes um, quite a bit because we kind of commute on those to our full-time jobs, so those get ridden. <clears throat> so that is kind of a recap of our garage. So again, the Grom, we're working on it. Uh, we got a game plan. Got a few more, another welder, plasma cutter, um, oxyacetylene cutting setup so that is all new that came down from the shop in portland and this thing is going over here outside we finally got the big 40 foot trailer unloaded before it was kind of storage for us i had 1976 corvette sitting on the trailer it has not been off the trailer in or since we moved from Portland um, so it's exciting to get that off we were able to actually use the trailer yesterday to move some cars for our good friend from work um, so we got busy the cars weren't running so we ended up putting a nice little winch setup on it so just a Harbor Freight winch nothing special but for what it is um, it's not critical it's not like we're stuck and have to get out so it did a great job for that and we did a cool little hitch receiver setup so we welded a hitch receiver on the front of the trailer that way we can pull this winch off and put it inside the other enclosed car trailer over there if we need to and pull cars up that way so this thing is doing awesome so nice big trailer we easily fit two cars on there we could easily fit a third on there up front too um, we got some pictures of that we'll see if i can throw in here um, that's my truck there 06 dodge um, it's a six speed 3500 5.9 cummins uh, absolutely love that thing that will we have quite a few more projects for that coming up on the channel as well um, been working on paul's truck doing some stuff like that we've got a couple stuff coming up there for some maintenance items we're going to replace the ball joints some wheel bearing stuff like that so we're going to throw a few videos on that in there this is going to be a big build at some point i'm not exactly sure when but this is a pretty pretty special car it's been in the family since my grandfather bought it brand new and i was able to buy it from him um, it's only got 36,000 miles on it, original from 76. Um, so this is a special car to me. So although we're not doing anything with it right now, it is in the books for later. Got a long bed for the Dodge. So we're going to extend the Mega Cab from a short bed to a long bed because they never made them like that. Then we got the silver trailer, um, an enclosed car trailer. That's what we normally keep the Corvette in. Um, but right now it's just tool storage. So that's kind of what we're doing outside of the garage here. Um, and then kind of some personal news. Cooper's going to be a dad or Cooper is a dad. So he's a purebred Aussie. We wanted to have pups. Um, so we found some neighbors that actually had another purebred Aussie and we bred them and now he's a dad. So that's exciting. We're waiting on those pups. Paul is going to be keeping one of those little guys, and he is stoked. Um, he already has a full name picked out. We're getting everything set up. They're about three weeks old now, um, so we still have another five weeks before we can take one of them home. Um, so we're really excited to see how Cooper does being a dad and raising another little pup. On a side note, let me know what you guys like better. Do you like the kind of the vlog style where I hold the camera like this or like a, I guess, documentary style, is that what you call it? Where I show you guys everything. So I don't know what works better for you guys if I'm just talking, if whatever you guys like, whatever it is. Anyways, we're excited for Cooper's puppy to get here. Paul's super soaked. He's always wanted a dog of his own. Um, Cooper was my first dog that I got to raise by myself. So that was really cool. Um, and now Cooper's son is going to be in the family as well. So that's really cool. Um, and then other than that, my amazing girlfriend is going to be moving down from Wisconsin. So we're planning everything out and getting her all moved down here at the end of the month. Um, so that's really cool to finally have her down here. She loves being involved with this stuff as well. Um, she's been amazing and supportive with everything that we do. Um, so you guys will get to see her a little bit more over here as well. Um, so that's kind of just what we've been doing. I know it's been quite 
a while since our last video and we apologize for that, but life happens. Um, YouTube for us is just kind of a supplement to everything else. Um, it hasn't been a priority, but we're trying to get it back up to the point where we can make consistent videos and show you guys exactly what we're doing. We really don't have that much longer um, until this thing is done and running and riding. Um, so we're really excited with that. Getting that table back there has been or will be a really cool addition. That way we can make the, the parts that are hard to find like that sprocket spacer. Um, and that's really the last thing that we need right now before the spike will run under its own power. And then uh, just working with the plasma table um, getting everything going, getting everything lined up for us personally in our lives, making sure that we can do everything that we want to do um, between our full-time jobs and then working on the side with Freedom & Company and YouTube and all that stuff as well. So that's where we're at. We just wanted to give you an update, tell you guys that we are still here. We are still working on it. We have not given up on this Grom. Um, so um, yeah, <laughs> stay tuned for more. Uh, we're going to be here. We should have a video out in the next couple days uh, on building some parts for the Grom. So we are going to be working on this today, um, tomorrow, and the next day. And that way we should have a video out showing some of the stuff and that will utilize some of the new equipment as well. So that'll be a cool little showcase of what that can do and a good example of how it helps us with this build. So if you guys like what we're doing, if you want to see more, Take a second to like and subscribe to our channel. Um, check out our Patreon link below. Um, everything that you guys help goes straight to building this thing, buying some of this awesome equipment that we've got that will help us later with all of our other projects, the truck, the trailer, the Corvette, um, other big bikes. We've got so much planned that we wanna share with you guys, so all that helps there. Um, share with all your friends, it means a lot. So, All right, so we're gonna get back to work. Please keep an eye out for videos in the next couple of days. We're excited to get this thing going and make some progress on here. So we'll see you guys later. Take it easy.